You show up out of nowhere. Time is oh. short. You must understand. The answers you seek lie within. Study it well. The fate of creation hangs in the balance. Nice to see you too. Yay! Remember. I'll Hey man. I've heard of these Eon crystals before. Supposedly they allow you to relive another person's memories. But for Sarah Tools uncovered. It was desperate for me to see it too. Well, here goes nothing. That was Sarah Tool. Remember how Tychus mentioned don't get all sentimental, these aren't your old Protoss buddies? Not all Protoss hates uh, hates Jim. Remember, Jim used to fight against the Zerg, and he actually teamed up with some Protoss back in the day, and they eventually basically became friends, more or less. That was Zeratul. Really powerful Protoss warrior. Anyway. Chances are, you know what? I'm probably the Crystal. This is basically will hold all the memories that Zeratul had, and explain what the hell is going to happen in the future. Chances are, you know what, I'm just going to basically doing a Protoss Marathon as soon as I get done with this. Talk to everybody, it's going to be a Protoss Marathon. Do every single mission this has to do right now. Because you do this, you get research. And a lot of it. Alright, one, two, three, four, awesome! Orbital, orbital depots. This gives the option where you can just summon depots instantly. They just instantly, boom, they're there. You don't have to waste time building them. Refineries produce Vespine gas 25% faster. Also applies to automatic refinery. What's an automatic refinery? This is an automatic refinery. This is what we're going to be getting next. Where you don't have to spend, uh, SCVs gathering gas. It will automatically it will automatically start harvesting it. I am gonna go with the instant supply depot. Because that really comes in handy. So anyway, these these two are gonna be the next things I'm gonna probably get, but let's talk to Hansen. I see we have a new acquisition. Is it a Protoss device? That's right. But I wouldn't mess with it if I were you. It's a Kaderan Ehan crystal. It's a memory storage device. It lets you experience what other people have seen or done. It can be dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Yet you don't fear it at all. You're a fascinating man, Jim Rayner. You know more about the Protoss and the Zerg than any of the experts I've read about. Well, yeah, because all they're doing is research. He's actually allied fighting them. Holding these artifacts is making me nervous. Can you tell me any more about them? It's interesting. The one from Zill is different than the others. However, I think all of them once constituted a single device. You mean they make something bigger? It would seem so. It's just a theory, but there's an attraction between the artifacts we've collected. A kind of harmonic resonance. Given the points of contiguous translinear alignment, I think they'd be drawn together like magnets under the right field adjustment. Okay. Well, don't adjust anything just yet, Doc. I like them aligned just the way they are. <laughs> No kidding what they're gonna do if they all become together. But, this is only three of the pieces. We still gotta find some more. Let's to the armory. Hey, Swan has something to say. Awesome. We're rocking some serious heavy metal now that we got siege tanks. Yes, sir. The comforting thunder of the big guns. Well, comforting when they're on our side. Yeah, these newer tanks have better guns when they're on the move. And reinforced armor. 
So long as they still got the range in siege mode, the rest is just gravy. Between siege tanks and bunkers, we can hold the line against just about anything. Hell yeah. Siege tanks! Oh yeah. All sorts of sexy. Armory. Vehicles! Siege tanks! Gimme! Siege tanks deal 40 plus 40 damage to primary targets. Splash damage remains the same. They will target a single person. And the splash damage will be a little... will remain the same, but severely increased damage. Hmm. I'm thinking about getting that. Let's go to the cantina. Because since we got a new unit, guess what we can get Came now? Right place. We can now get Siege Berserkers. Yay! Two elite siege tanks. These bad boys. Oh, these these can just destroy armies. Anyway, that's Dr. Tychus. So now we've got three of these artifacts on my ship. When are we supposed to hand these damn things over? Well, they got their hands full right now. The Zerg are about to invade Tirador, where Mobius' main research center is. I don't reckon we'll hear anything from them until they relocate somewhere safe. Wonderful. Uh, Tosh or the news? Tosh. Had any visitors lately? I don't know what you're talking about, Tosh. Oh, I think you do, James Rayner. Something was on this ship just now. I still smell it on you. Portos. Interesting. Whatever you think you know, you just keep it to yourself. I hear you yapping about this, and I'll toss you out the airlock. <laughs> Damn. Remember Tosh, ghost, elite hunter. These guys, you do not want to piss them on. Let's go to the news. This is Donnie Vermillion, live from UNN. Tonight, the Zerg invasion, the battle so far. The Terran Dominion is holding firm under Zerg aggression. Our industrial complex has stepped up production on all fronts. Enlistment rates have risen within the penal system, and the Marine Corps is ready to get in the fight. The Zerg won't know what hit them. Donnie, has there been any word on when we start pushing the aliens back? Kate, if I revealed that, I'd be giving away vital Dominion secrets. You think the Zerg watch our broadcast? I know they do, Kate. I know they do. Well, you heard it here first, folks. This is Kate Lockwell for UNN. Zerg are watching TV. Zerg are watching TV. <laughs> well, we're fucked. <laughs> uh, laboratory, armory, bridge. You know what? This is 9.5, if I remember right. I'm going to be recording 10 pretty soon. You ain't going to believe this, but I just saw Zeratul on the ship. Uh... How much did you have to drink tonight, sir? He was here, Matt. And he was hurt. On the run from something. Where is he now, sir? I don't know. But he ain't on the ship anymore. He gave me an Eon memory crystal, and he was desperate for me to study it. I guess he wants me to see what he's seen. Alright. Now, normally, I would click on the start map. But remember, this is going to be the, uh... Protoss Crystal Marathon. Raynor, the Hounds of the Void are closing in. I impart my memory, my very essence, into this Eon Crystal, so that you will see what I have seen, and that the future may yet have hope. Awesome. Yeah, this is the new mission screen. 3 plus research for Protoss, 3 plus Zerg research. Doing these missions will give you so much research. This is what you want to do just right off the bat. If you are playing on the harder difficulties, you want to do this first. You, It's a pain in the butt because they're a little bit harder because you're dealing with a new race. If you're inexperienced, you're going to be boned. But, it'll give you so much research, and the research, oh my god, will help you in so many more missions. So guess what? We're going to be new Whispers of Doom next time. This is going to be the StarCraft 2 Protoss Edition. See you guys in episode 10.